I believe that was the picture when they went to meet their guru, yes, Maharishi. Uh, that's right. What was that day like? It was interesting because that was also the, the, the afternoon that Brian Epstein died. They got word. We were in Wales. That's their manager, yeah. That was their manager. And uh, Brian died, and everybody started scrambling for a way to get back to London. Time magazine had sent me. I didn't want to go because I had already spent so much time with him that week in London. And Time said, we'll give you a car and a driver. So we went up to Wales. I offered a ride when I realized that we had to get back to London. And mm -hmm. Paul and Jane drove back to London, rode back to London with me in the car. I went as a friend, not as a photographer. Mm -hmm. It was about a five or six hour trip back to London. It was, a, the Maharishi was kind of interesting, uh, an interesting person. That was a big day for them, obviously. I mean, w one thing strikes me here is another of the great rock and roll photographers, Jim Marshall, the late Jim yes, Marshall, used to say that the two most important things um, in, in a, in a, for a photographer were trust and access. And what's so clear from these photographs is you had both. Somebody once said that you relate, fir relate first on a personal level, secondarily on a technical level. They trusted me. I... I didn't want anything from them. I wasn't going to dig into them or dig anything. I was just watching, taking pictures, and being there with them. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Evidently, they accepted that. Well, it really does come through in the photos. Mm -hmm. and when we were in Wales, as a matter of fact, um, I knocked on the window, and arriving, John looks out, drags me in, and the, the other press waiting started yelling. And he said, Henry's a friend of ours. He travels around the world with us, and if you were a friend, you'd travel. You'd be in here, too. Henry Glassman, Grossman, excuse me. Thank you so much, Henry Grossman. Thank you very much, Rebecca and Anthony.